is for the next generation. I am a woman of the earth, and I am not alone. We are the women of the earth. In, in our souls, a star is revealed. In our eyes, her beauty is reflected. And in our hearts, her spirit is alive. Mabuhay! This is the world famous Manila Bay Sunset. One of the greatest and most breathtaking shows. In changing hues that reflects on the mirror, like waters are hypnotic and mesmerizing, as as they say. The magnificent setting sun is like a beautiful woman. You just cannot keep your eyes off her. I am Alexandra Brown, Miss Earth 2005, welcoming Mother Earth's most beautiful creations, the woman of Miss Earth 2006 in the tropical paradise city of Manila, Philippines. Home of the most hospitable people on earth. Their sunny smiles and joyful laughter complement the rich and diverse arts and culture scene in Manila. In this picturesque city, a delightful blend of Eastern and Western traditions greet every visiting person, just like this next set of dazzling women. Anirei Mata from Tahiti. Melilani Tofa and I'm from Samoa. Sharon Amador and I represent Nicaragua. Toriko Ono from Japan. Annalise Person from New Zealand. Chile Hernandez, Chile. No relief state, Wales. Sally Kovalena, Russia. Karina Harchinska, Ukraine. Bellany Boren, Ireland. Ayush Mapokril representing Nepal. Maria Lucia Leo, Italy. Meu nome é Ana Paula Kino, represento o Brasil. Panzer, Heidi. Kresselsprock, Curaçao. Trin Chunga, Tibet. Dina Fukadu, Ethiopia. Dante Sudnitska, and I am from Poland. Han Vu, Vietnam. Nebo Fry, and I'm from Ghana. Petra Soukupova, from the Czech Republic. Rachel Jinibam, I'm representing Liberia. Emma Madego, from Kenya. Eugenia Lato, Greece. Kathy Daniels, Saint Lucia. Darmatao, El Salvador. Peregram Lara Ibrahimi, Norway. Ballerine, Peru. Nicole Garland, Turks and Caicos Islands. Stephanie Munich Esbut, Cayman Islands. Camille Collazo from Puerto Rico. Jessica Jordan Burton, Bolivia. Nahad Al Sarir, I represent Lebanon. Laura Ferrara, Switzerland. Derta Lili, Albania. Deandra Pratt, Bahamas. Alice Lowe, Malaysia. Maripal Duarte, Costa Rica. Tina Altanen, Finland. Religion is one of Spain's long-lasting legacy to the Philippines. Almost 90% of Manilenos are Roman Catholics and amidst the hustle and bustle of an industrial center. Faith and prayers cloak the entire city with peace and tranquility. A mood that invigorates these lovely young women. Andrea Garcia and I am Miss Argentina. Fatima from Germany. Thailand. Thailand. Room with an absent heart. My name is Bozlena and I represent Bosnia and Herzegovina. Catherine Greg and I'm from Guatemala. Paloma Navarro and I'm from Paraguay. Pana Popovska and I'm coming from Macedonia. Miriam George, Miss Egypt. Richa Adia from Tanzania. My name is Kifilo Kosi and I'm from Botswana. I'm Shin and I'm from Singapore. Dubrovka, Serbia. Philippines. From China. 
The soft and warm air of Manila is the same air that our heroic ancestors breathed. The same air that now lifts the spirits of this next group of stunning women. My name is Obrori Edenkwa and I come from Nigeria. Yelena Siabudi, Indonesia. Ingrid Bevis, I come from Guadalupe. Mote Nicoleta from Romania. My name is Zilita Rubiova and I come from Slovak Republic. Cecilia Christensen and I represent Sweden. Ariane Puglian Ulaza, Venezuela. Rocío, I come from Spain. Lisa Sanchez and I come from Canada. Natalie Newton and I'm representing Australia. Martin Omegan, Martini. Angela Triplet and I come from France. Alondra Peña, I from Dominican Republic. Leslie Christophe, I represent Honduras. Rina van der Donk and I represent the Netherlands. Magdalena Stahl, Ecuador. My name is Amrita Patki and I am from India. Stephanie De Roo from Panama. I'm Nancy Dosh from the magical South Africa. Evelyn Dadu from Lithuania. He Jongba, Korea. Taher Mahmood, Pakistan. Alina Garcia, Mexico. Amanda Helen Pennykamp, USA. Segulini Kvartop, and I'm representing Denmark. I'm Isabel, and I'm from Belgium. Holly Eichen, and I'm representing England. I'm Sarchimania Maria, I represent Georgia. Magandanga B, Sabuong Mundo. Beaming to you live from the National Museum of the Filipino People here in Manila, Philippines. This is Miss Earth 2006.
Wow, look at that. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Miss Air 2006. Whew. 82 enchanting and certified treasures from all over the earth gathered here at the National Museum in Manila, Philippines. I am your host, Ariel Loretta, and joining me tonight is Miss Earth 2004 from Brazil, Priscilla Meireles. Boa noite, senhoras e senhores. Bienvenidos a todos. Now, on its sixth year, the only beer in pageant that promotes the environment, she'll crowd its new queen tonight. This is Miss Earth 2006. This friendship, as voted by her fellow candidates, this year's congeniality award goes to Miss Italy Maria Luciano. I'll give you some um, insight here. Miss Italy speaks nothing but Italian, doesn't, and all of the other girls don't speak Italian, but still, she was the friendliest and everybody loved her. Miss Italy! Uh, candidates uh, to the press photographers was held on November 9 at the Traders Royal Hotel by Shangri-La. And this year's Miss Photogenic is Miss... Canada! Lisa Raquel Santos! Each of our 82 delegates proudly wore a modern with the highest score in this category is Miss India Armuda Hatti. And finally, by the way, this is my special, uh, my, my favorite special award. On November 18, the candidates display their shapely assets in a swimsuit pictorial and parade at the Fontana Leisure Parks. And the candidate who looked best in a swimsuit is Miss Venezuela! Marian Puglia Martinez. Marianne. Congratulations to our winners. Let me turn you now to another winning beauty, Priscilla May Reynes. Congratulations, girls. I was watching early uh, Miss China dancing. She was looking so hot. And I was judging uh, the pageant, the evening gown competition. And definitely, Miss India did very well. Now, from 82 candidates, The very important people that I am about to introduce have changed my life in more ways than one. They are the executives behind Carousel Productions, who in cooperation with ABS-CBN are the forces behind Ms. Earth. Vice President for External Relations, Ms. Jodi Felix Velarde. Project Director, Miss Pichi Veneracion. Vice President, Miss Lorraine Schuck. And President, Mr. Ramon Monzon. And now, it's time to reveal the identities of our distinguished board of judges for the pageant night of Miss Earth 2006. The board of judges for Miss Earth 2006. Environmentalist, host of a lifestyle environmental program in South Africa, Miss Catherine Constantinides. Philippines top fashion, print, and commercial model. Active member volunteer of the World Wildlife Fund for Nature Philippines, Ms. Tweety De Leon Gonzalez. Regional manager, 
Philippines Korean Air, Mr. Lee Chol Woo, a businessman and philanthropist, Mr. Ricky Reyes. 2002 Miss Philippines Air and the reigning Miss Tourism Queen International, the country's 7th Grand Slam World Beauty title holder, Miss Justine Gabionza, world traveler and adventurer, general manager of Traders Hotel Manila, Mr. Andrea Mastelioni, Filipino-American PBA basketball player, Mr. Dorian Peña, owner and president of Richmond Hotel, Mr. Tatsuhiko Takahashi, Supermodel of the World and Mega's Top 10 Most Beautiful Women in the Philippines, Personality, Image and Beauty Consultant, Ms. Abigail Arenas de Leon, Founder and Chairman of Fashion TV, Mr. Michelle Adam, Food Connoisseur, with columns at Metro Magazine, Vivant and Gourmand, Lover of the Arts and Culture, Senior Vice President, Business Development and Media Asset Management of ABS-CBN, Mr. Jose Ramon B. Olives, known as Mr. Charity for Children and Environmental Causes, Chief Executive Officer of the Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation Limited, Mr. Warner Manning. A round of applause for our Board of Judges. Based on the scores and uh, preliminary uh, events, as computed by our official tabulations, Sisip Gores and Velayo and company, 16 candidates have emerged as this year's top finalists. Good luck, ladies. Okay, in no particular order. Here they are. Panama! Stephanie de Rue. And the next one, we have Slovak Republic, Yodita Herubyova. Ah, this is getting exciting. Saint Lucia, Daniel, Kathy Daniel. From France, and Charlotte Tiplet, Miss France. Miss Chile, Il Hernandez. How about this, Miss Philippines, Catherine Untalan. Miss Egypt, Miriam George. Another finalist, Miss Bosnia and Herzegovina. Boyzena Yelchich. From Czech Republic, Petra Sokupala. Welcome, Miss Bahamas, Leandro Pratt. This is a very good addition, Miss United States of America, Amanda Penicam. And now, Miss Spain, Rocio Catayas. And here's another beauty, Miss Venezuela, Mariani Puglia. And here's a candidate that gives you beauty queens, India, Amruta Patki. Welcome, Miss Poland, Francis Sudnika. Last but not least, Miss China, Zhou Meng King. When we return, our top 16 finalists parade in yet another selection of eye-catching swimwear as we get to know them better in our personality competition. But right now, meeting our finalists backstage is this year's Miss Philippines Air, Ginger Conerejo. Ginger! Miss St. Lucia, come and join me. How do you feel right now? Oh, I'm very excited and extremely nervous. Well, you will do absolutely just fine. Just be yourself and have fun. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.
back in 2004, I remember feeling very nervous during this part of the competition, knowing that all eyes are on me and my body. I did not want to fall or make any mistakes on stage. I'm sure this is how our finalists feel right now. It's time for our personality competition as we reveal the past achievements, present environmental concerns, and future aspirations of our top 16 finalists. Let's see how they project their best personality wearing swimsuits by Champion Authentic Athletic Sportswear, beginning with Miss Panama. So not to use them if not if it's not necessary just because all of that contributes to um, the global warming and contributes to us being just sick all the time because of the pollution the cars uh, produce. So it's very important to I want to make people conscious and aware that they can either walk to places or ride a bicycle and they don't necessarily have to get in a car to get somewhere. I think we are all beautiful and smart in different ways. I believe that I got the helpful heart to make our world to be a better place to live in. Miss Saint Lucia. After joining the pageants in my country, I realized that every little thing that we do is very detrimental to the environment. So I started putting it in my bag when I get home to dispose of it. And I became very influential to my friends and they would do the same thing. So I think if, it, if I could start with my friends, I could start with Robert and the rest of the world. Miss France. Helping children to take care of planets by teaching them, thanks to workshops in school, um, gestures and essential to the survival of planet by from the earliest childhood. Yeah, uh, it um, it had uh, to become a new way of life. For children, yeah. and uh, because uh, we did not inherit the planet of our ancestors, by uh, but our children are lending it to us. It's Chile. One of my biggest qualities is working with an organization and the drive to do well in a monumental project for the environment. That is my strength. I already feel very happy to be the winner of Miss Chile in my country and be able to work with the people and give them the conscience to understand, especially the children, in preserving our planet to protect the flora and fauna so the next generations can benefit from it. Miss Philippines! I'm most proud of winning the Miss Philippines Earth title because it gave me and it still gives me different opportunities for me to reach out to different groups of people, to make them more aware, to use beauty and intelligence, to make them advocates as well. Also, um, I'm very proud to be the and our spokesperson. I believe that I can really help them promote their different activities for the Philippines. Miss Egypt. We want to make consciousness and we want to make uh, seminars, press, and media and uh, everything to promote that, we, that the environment is so important so to care about it and to not have this 
air pollution I guess. Miss Bosnia and Herzegovina. We are both and Africa are like a small country. You can even see the map. But it's not a country but it's rich with water. And we are we want to protect our water to stay like she is now. We were cleaning every day. They want to make hydraulic on our water rivers, but we are we want to stop that. And we are also taking care about our woods and our mountains. We are cleaning it because our country just came out from war. Miss Czech Republic. I like children very much and I want to educate them because I think that education is the key to the future. I think that uh, Miss Earth makes uh, use her um, popularity and public authority to participate in global protection uh, activities and I believe that I am woman of such qualities. Miss Bahamas! The quality that I think I possess to be the next Miss Earth 2006 is that I'm a people's person. I like to be myself. I don't pretend to be someone else. I like to be real. I think I'm very respectful, manner, take you throughout the world. And personality, I have it. Smile. <laughs> Miss USA. My top environmental concern is global warming because I feel that it affects every single area of the environment. And it not only affects the, affects the environment, it affects human beings as well. So me personally, I believe that one person can truly make a difference. So as being one person, I have created coloring books for children because I believe that if you plant that seed of hope in them at a very young age, that they grow up with that. Miss Spain. Pues me considero una persona sencilla, humilde, simpática, agradable, amigos. Y mis objetivos en la vida, pues son my objectives in life is to be a person of individual and be able to achieve something someday. That's why education is important to me. So I am studying and working. And the people around me are special. That's why I'm special. I'm very grateful to them and I am what I am. Miss Venezuela. Mi mayor preocupación ahorita en el medio ambiente es sencillamente es que nosotros con los My biggest preoccupation now is about the environment. We as human beings do not realize the gravity that exists right now and affect us all. Yes, we need attention because in my country, Venezuela, the Minister of the Environment is dedicated luckily in working for the protection of our natural resources. Miss India. Being a tropical country, we are blessed with plenty of sunlight. As an ambassador of my country, I would love to raise funds to promote the thought of solar energy more and more. I possess a quality that I am a very good communicator. And also very importantly, the quality that I possess, which can make me Miss Earth 2006, is love for Mother Earth. Yes, for sure.
Miss Poland. I'm proud of a lot of things in my life. I'm proud of my, my family. I am proud of my studies. I almost finished my study, my university as an accountant. My family, my mom, because she, she always teach me good things. Then I am who I am today. And I'm proud because I participated in many events. Uh, with the, I'm working with the minister in Poland. I am uh, participating in many activities that helps to improve, you know, different difficult situations in Poland. Miss China. To reduce air pollution, I suggest everybody start with themselves. I hope everybody will do their best to protect the environment. For me, I usually walk or ride in a bicycle instead of riding in a car. I hope everybody will do their best in protecting the environment. visited them. One thing sure, they truly are one in nature, equally deserving of preservation, just like the historic artifacts inside the National Museum here in Manila. And now, from 16, only the top eight scorers in the just concluded personality competition will have a chance to be crowned as Miss Earth 2006. Let me now uh, call on the representative of SGB and company, Mr. Ramon Dizon, to hand the official results. We see each other once a year. Thank you, sir. Once again, in no particular ranking, here are the top eight finalists. Let's begin with Miss Czech Republic, Petra Sukopova. Uh, this is another favorite. We'd appreciate Miss India, Amruta Patke. Miss Czech Republic. Miss Czech Republic is now picking the envelope. Very good. Before I open the uh, the envelope, letter E. Miss Czech Republic has chosen the letter E. Now, what word E? Educación. Education. Education. Okay, you have... Uh, what are your thoughts about education? Is it important? 
Vzhledem k tomu, že studuji fakultu pedagogickou, tak miluji děti a myslím si, že vzdělání je klíč k budoucnosti. Um, I'm studying children and I believe that education is the most important thing in the world. Okay, not bad. Thank you very much. Petra. So, well, very good. Okay, let's get to your letter. The letter you picked is M. Letter M. Let's open the M. What's M? Mr. M. The word that I got is mother. There is so much to talk about this word. Woman that possess the best asset is motherhood. She pampers her kids, learns, teaches the lessons to them. And most importantly, the reason I am here is Mother Earth. Thank you so much. Thank you, Miss India. The people love you. Thank you, Miss India. Next, we call on Miss Poland. The letter of choosing... Letter R. And what's the word? Respect. Respect. Okay. Respect. For me, respect is something very important. I think it's like like loyalty, like uh, friendship, like love. I think that if we have to, if we are related, we are we are in communication. Uh, the first thing that we have to do is respect, respect each other, respect as we are, respect uh, our our living uh, the uh, way, respect our behaviors, respect our love and manner of being. I think that we have to respect. So this is very important. Very good. Well done. Thank you, Miss Poland. Hello, Miss Venezuela. Good evening. Good evening. Do you need an interpreter, ma'am? Yes. Oh, yes, we need an interpreter. It's going to be a, a very a Spanish thick thing. But first, this letter. E. I. E. I. E. 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 G. K. L. E. Okay. And the word is imagination. Imaginación. Imaginación. Imaginación para mí esto sencillamente es lo que tenemos todos los seres humanos. Imagination for us is what all human beings have. Es todo lo que tenemos los seres humanos para imaginarnos cualquier tipo de cosa para alcanzar la imaginación es para alcanzar tus metas. To imagine all kinds of things and to reach our goals. Y esas metas las cumples y dice gracias Dios por haberme imaginado esto. And when you reach those goals, you thank God and you say thank you for having given me this imagination. Okay. Thank you very much, Miss Venezuela. And thank you, sir. And now we have the envelope. The letter is... H. H. What could that be? Hunger. Thank you. Um, well, hunger is a very... I'm fortunate enough to come from a country where um, people are not starving but uh, it's a world problem and it needs um, help and we need to reach out to those countries that are, ha that are having people suffering from hunger. Thank you. Thank you very much. Miss Panama. Now let's welcome Miss Egypt. Hi, good evening. Hi, Maganda Gabi. I want to say something uh, first. I want to say Hendi ke kayo makaka le motan Filipino and mahal ko kayo and salama po. Okay, good. Now we don't need any translations. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> no cheating. Okay, you pick letter A. Letter A. And the word is Abuse. Okay, abuse. Yani lama hadi bi bi akhar had abuse zay kahar. Kahar. Yani lama yba hadi bi yedrab hada or bi atadi ala hada. You see, uh, in Egypt, abuse is a very long word. Yes. Ana shayfan da uslub ghair insani, wa lazim anu alwahid yim yani yitaamal ma nas kais awi. All over the world, and when um, when you have a few, um, 
وان الواحد ما يعملش واحد بديانته او بالجنسيه بتاعته او ببلد ايه او باللون بتاعه لا بالشخصيه وباللي ربنا مدهوله يتعامل معاه ولو حد بيعمل النيتشر وحش لا لازم لازم نقف حد ونحط رولز وريجليشنز She thinks in terms of abuse with people, you have to put in mind when you're dealing with people that you have to do, take out your best while you're dealing with other people, regardless of their race or nationality or religion. And in terms of abuse with nature, she thinks there should be very strict rules to stop this. Very good, very good. Very nice, Miss Egypt. Salam Apo. Salam Apo also to you. Pick one envelope, please. My letter is T. Letter T. Let's see the word. The word I got is terrorism. Terrorism is not only a local problem, but also a global concern as well. But you know, I believe that the thing that can solve terrorism is respect. Each of us has his or, or, or her own belief, and we just have to respect them. You believe in something, I believe in something. We have to define our our limitations and we should not go beyond those um, uh, personal beliefs by saying that others belief is not true because whatever kind of explanation to make you make to another person who believes something you will never succeed because that person holds on to his or her own principles thank you very much thank you very much miss philippines very good education in the university chat question for you here a filipino newspaper mentioned among uh, the delegates that you have the most beautiful eyes what can you say about that do you always hear that <laughs> so the, the journalist saw very well what he had to see Creo, más que todo, creo que los ojos son el corazón y son el alma de las personas. Por eso, si se encuentran bellos, es porque reflejan lo mejor de cada persona. S. S. And the word is stop. Tienes que decir algo sobre la palabra basta. Basta. Bueno, sobre la palabra basta se pueden decir muchas cosas. Basta a la violencia intrafamiliar. You can say many things about the word stop. One of them is uh, stop to uh, violence in the family. Basta a la contaminación de nuestro medio ambiente. Basta la ignorancia de la gente. Basta sobre todo de tratar de que de una vez por todas tomemos una conciencia que cada uno de nosotros somos parte de este mundo bello que poseemos. Basta por supuesto de ignorar lo que vemos cada día en cada país del mundo, en cada ciudad. Y por supuesto tratar de mejorar nuestro medio ambiente que es lo más importante. Por supuesto basta y abrir los bellos ojos de cada uno. Stop and to open the beautiful eyes of everybody. Thank you very much, Miss Chile, and thank you, sir. Well done, ladies. I shall now give you permission to quickly change into your evening gowns. Not here, not here, although I don't mind that. But backstage, because the final competitive round among our top eight finalists is up next. Ginger? Thanks, Ariel. Wow, I am definitely impressed. Not only are those ladies so beautiful, but they stay so composed and intelligent with their answers. As they make their way backstage, I'd like to thank some special more people. Thank you to the Philippine Amusement Park and Gaming Corporation Chairman and CEO, Efren Henuino, who is credited for the state-run gaming firm's unprecedented success. Thank you also to SVG, our official tabulator for this evening's competition. And thank you to Mr. Steve Tamayo of Tamayo's Catering Services Restaurant and Flower Shop, the name for Ultimate Catering Services. Now, I'm waiting just very anxiously backstage to get these ladies, and I want to hear what's on their mind because they're the top eight. Miss Philippines, will you come and join me? Hi, Hi, Kathy. How does it feel to do so well in your own home country? I'm extremely, extremely relieved that that segment is over, and I'm really very proud that I am here to represent the Philippines. Well, thank you very much, and good luck. You have a lot of people rooting for you out there. Miss Chile? Ms. Chile, I heard your answer very well said. Is there anything else that you want to say to the people back home? Of course, I'm very, very, very happy to visit Filipina. It's my first time here. 
Eh, en español los quiero mucho y estoy disfrutando mucho este momento que es único en la vida. And how do you feel about the evening gown competition? Perfecto, como en toda la noche, creo que la seguridad es lo más importante y vamos a seguir luchando por esa corona. Confident and beautiful. Check it out next. We've got the evening gown competition here on Miss Earth 2006. We are about to begin my favorite segment in any beauty pageant. While the swimsuits show the candidates' physical assets and the interviews their intellectual capacity, the evening gals showcase their true beauty and overall impact on the audience. So here they are in their evening gowns to be celebrated by Asian's pop idol, Christian Bautista.
brain as Miss Earth 2004 was the most memorable year of my life. This year, another queen is about to the rickish her crown. I could just feel how nervous, excited, and sad she is at this very moment. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Miss Earth 2005 from Venezuela, Alexandra Brown. Y un beso para todos. We are witnessing eight wonderful, beautiful creatures, and it's a pain, it pains me, it hurts me to say that four of them will have to say goodbye, and only the four will remain. And this will happen as soon as I get the envelope from SGV, sir. Ladies, before I announce the top four, congratulations, congratulate each one of you for making it this far. Give yourselves a round of applause. Okay, in no particular order, here they are. Chile, Il Hernandez. Miss India, Amruta Pakti. Two more, two more. So far, the audience like our choice. Let's see if you would like this one. Miss Venezuela! Just one more, only one more of the eight will belong to the Magic Four. Chit Pray. Pray. Miss Philippines! Congratulations to our four winners. Now, let me ask Mark Nelson. He's a fam famous host from here, Philippines. So, Mark, who do you think you make to the crowns, to the Miss Earth crown? Uh, I guess I can't choose you, right? <laughs> uh, I think uh, my heart will go with the Philippines, but I think every girl has a fantastic chance. They're all stunning, and uh, actually, this is my final four. I think that's all. <laughs> so, hasta luego.
Now, at this point, all your previous scores will have to be considered. Out of 82 delegates, only four of you remain. How will the winner be chosen? Well, other than your overall presence, impact, beauty, it all boils down to your answer to this final question. Ladies, are you ready? Let's begin with Miss Chile. This would need an interpreter. Very good. The question is, what kind of effort must the country's government exert to stop global warming? In your opinion, what effort should be implemented in a country to ¿Qué esfuerzo debería implementar un país para parar el efecto invernadero de la Tierra? Uf. Bueno, agradecer primero que todo la oportunidad de estar entre las cuatro elegidas Miss Tierra. First, I'd like to thank uh, everybody for having been chosen one of the four. Y creo que el consejo que le podría dar a cada país, a cada gobierno, es que trate de concientizar, de tratar de que los niños puedan saber de educar a los niños para que ellos sean el futuro y sean un mejor futuro. She says that she would like to make people aware that children are the future and they are the ones we have to educate. Y además, por supuesto, nosotros, las personas adultas, conscientes, tratar de generar menos contaminación desde nuestros hogares. Also, ourselves as adults, we should try and, and help lessen the contamination and pollution como en crear una mayor conciencia para que así las futuras generaciones también disfruten de este país menos contaminado y del mundo, por supuesto. To create a global consciousness so that everybody can help. La, la gran responsabilidad, por supuesto, está en las grandes empresas también. The biggest responsibility is in the big industries. Que son las que dan movimiento a nuestro país y que también tienen que cuidar nuestro mundo. They're the ones that make the economy go around and they're the ones that have to take care of the earth. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Miss Chile. Next, we call on Miss India. The question is, what kind of effort must a country's government exert to stop global warming? Thank you so much for the question. I think global warming is a reason for every single problem that each one of the countries are facing. Let it be air pollution, water pollution, biodiversity, and every country should unanimously make uh, an, an effort to solve this problem. I don't think it's just NGOs or governments' responsibility. I think it's every single citizen's responsibility to prevent this problem. Thank you so much. Thank you, Miss India. Next, we call our next Miss Venezuela. Hello, Miss Venezuela. The question is, what kind of effort must the country's government exert to stop global warming? In your opinion, what efforts should the governments take to stop the effect of the Earth? Good evening. Definitely, the government should have to have campaigns, to do all types of uh, good evening. Uh, it's important that the governments make campaigns to make all kinds of campaigns de todo tipo de educación para que así no siga educational campaigns so that para que no siga existiendo este problema que nos está afectando a todos y no nos estamos dando cuenta. So that this problem will not affect us anymore because we're not really we're not really conscious that it's happening. Definitivamente las consecuencias que nos están afectando ahorita son muy grandes. Yo creo que deberíamos de tomar un poco de conciencia, razonar un poco y ver todo lo que nos está afectando para que por fin este mundo sea un poco mejor. We should uh, use our reason and try to find out the problems so that we live, the, the world will improve. 
Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Miss Venezuela. And finally, Miss Philippines. Hello. This is the question. What kind of effort must a country's government exert to stop global warming? Good evening again, everyone. First of all, I would like to acknowledge the participation of the Philippines in the Kyoto Protocol because I believe that the Kyoto Protocol is the biggest move now, nowadays of very many nations to uh, stop global warming or to do something about it. And I believe that other nations, especially the nations who are, who are very great contributors to the ca carbon dioxide and all other harmful gases in the environment, should sign this protocol. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Philippines. And that officially concludes the competition for this evening. Who will be crowned Miss Earth 2006? Witness the much awaited announcement, coronation, and walk of victory in just a while. This is Miss Earth 2006. Count your precious seconds because in just a little more, we're going to crown the next Miss Earth. This time, Miss Earth 2006. May we have the results, please? The envelope from Sisip Doris and Belaya, Mr. Dizon. Thank you, Mr. Dizon. This is it, ladies. I have the envelope. Remember, all four of you are already winners. First, we will announce Miss Fire, then Miss Water, to be followed by Miss Air, and finally, Miss Earth 2006. Are you ready, girls? Okay, I have here the envelope for Miss Fire. Miss Fire is Miss Venezuela, Mariana Puglia. Presenting at Carousel Productions Vice President for External Relations, Ms. Georgie Felix Velarde and Mr. Robert Dean Barber, CEO and General Manager of Philippine Tourism Authority. Miss Water is Miss Philippines. Catherine Untalan. Presenting the award is Miss Vice President and Project Director of Carousel Productions, Miss Pichi Veneracion. Together with a dynamic civic leader from Makati City, Mr. Erwin Henwino. If you notice, there are only two remaining uh, candidates. The first name I will announce. It's Miss Air, and automatically the last one I'll announce will be Miss Air 2006. Girls, hold hands and wish each other luck. Miss Air is Miss India. And therefore, 
the Miss Earth is Miss Chile. Presenting for Miss Air is Miss Lorraine Shook, Executive Vice President of Carousel Productions, together with Mr. Ricky Reyes. And for Miss Earth, the presenters are Mr. Ramon Monzon, President of Carousel Productions, and Mr. Ephraim Hinguino, Chairman and CEO of Pagport, together with Miss Earth 2005, Ms. Alexander Braun. Join us. This has been Priscilla Meirelles. Mabuhay po kayong lahat. And this is Ginger Conejero. Once again, congratulations, Miss Chile. Please take your victory walk on stage. On behalf of ABS-CBN and Carousel Productions, this is your host, Ariel Ureta, saying good night. See you next year for Miss Air 2007.
two.